everybody, my name is Connie Knox. I am here to help you go further, faster, but factually with your family research. Recently, I was at the North Carolina Genealogical Society Fall Conference and a book caught my eye. It was about Confederate pension records. So the author happened to be in the booth and I asked her a few questions. This is what she had to say. Okay, I am Dr. Laura Edwards and this is my book, Dead or Disabled, the North Carolina Confederate Pensions for the 1885 series. And it is called that because the North Carolina State Archives organizes the Confederate pensions into two series, the 1885 and the 1901. And these are based on the pension acts that were passed by the state legislature. The first one in 1885 benefited widows of men who died during the war, and it benefited the veterans who had been disabled during the war. And so this book is composed of two sections, the dead, which is the widow's applications, and the disabled, the veteran's applications. Uh, the earliest applications are from 1885 and they go up to 1900. Then in 1901 the legislature rewrote the law and you get a separate series of applications uh, that had asked different questions and had different eligibility criteria. Uh, they are online in the, for the North Carolina's uh, Archives website. Uh, look for their digital collection and you can view those now. Uh, they are still in the archives, the originals, but you cannot get very easy access to them anymore. They have moved them to an off-site storage facility. Uh, if you make arrangements in advance, you can see the originals, but they're not uh, very easily available anymore. And where can we find your book? Uh, you can visit my website, ncgenealogist.com. You can also visit my publisher's website, the Scupper Non Press. Well, Confederate pension records are certainly another resource to help fill out our family history. And so we thank Dr. Laura Edwards for putting that together. So information is in the show notes. If that helped, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, enjoy climbing your family tree.